All right, we gotta get into one of the most challenging lines in astrocartography, and that is the Mars line. This is one of the most challenging lines to visit or to live on. Proceed with caution. Hey guys, it's me, Helena. Welcome back to my channel. I am making this astrocartography video series where I talk about the different planetary lines that I personally have traveled to or lived on in my life and what I've learned about them, my own experiences, and also just some information about that planetary line. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna let you know that I am offering astrocartography readings, one-on-one -on -one personal readings where I take you through your astrocartography map and your natal chart, and I tell you a deeper story on the best places to travel and live for you, to find love, for spiritual growth, for retirement, anything that you're personally looking to improve upon in your life or maximize that support and benefits. I would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you some more spiritual grounded guidance. You can find more information on my website at helenawoods.com. I'll include a link down below in the description and in a pinned comment with all the details on my readings that I offer. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video, The Mars Line. Just as there is duality in all things in life, so do planets. Every planet in astrology has a positive side and a negative side. The positives of Mars or traveling or living on a Mars planetary line is there is a lot of stamina, endurance, motivation, drive, ambition. You will feel more ambitious and motivated to conquer all your dreams and get things done on a Mars line. But as with all good things, there are bad things and Mars is very, very challenging depending on your natal chart, which I will give you some tips on that in a sec. Mars represents war. It represents battle. It represents anger, frustration, rage, violence. It is not a positive planet all the time. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Mars signifies how we protect ourselves and battle up for war. This energy is intense and when you travel or live on it, you will feel the need to defend yourself, protect yourself, and just to fight more, <laughs> be more confrontational for sure. On the Mars line, you either will feel confident and self-assured, like you can take on the world, or you may feel defensive, angry, and if you have anger issues, don't recommend going to a Mars line. And also just really be careful of getting into conflict with other people on a Mars line. This is not the place to retire. This is not the place to have a peaceful vacation. This is the place if you wanna go and get some physical sports activities done, work on your body, you know, get that book written, <laughs> really be focused on starting a business or getting something launched, Mars will give you that motivation and drive, but uh, there will come frustration, frustrating moments for sure. Your most positive and negative planet in your chart is determined by the sect of the chart. So if you were born in the day, if you have a day chart, your most positive planet is gonna be Jupiter. So going to a Jupiter is gonna be the most positive thing for you. And if you were born in the day, your most negative planet will be Mars. So I personally have a day chart. If you have a night chart, your most positive planet is gonna be Venus and your most negative planet is going to be Saturn. So knowing that with your natal chart, you can then determine what's gonna feel more difficult for you. Is traveling to a Saturn line gonna be harder or a Mars line gonna be harder? For me personally in my natal chart, Mars is my hardest, most difficult planet. So I wish I knowed this before I booked my honeymoon to Egypt in 2018 because it was right on that Mars ascendant line. And Mars ascendant is really great for physical activity, physical sports, trying a new physical hobby, which actually I did when I went to Egypt. We went to Dahab, Egypt. 
Egypt for our honeymoon, I did a month of scuba diving training and I got my digital underwater certificate, photography certificate for scuba diving. I got my advanced open water. So that was really fun. That was very productive. That was a productive way to harness that Mars ascendant energy because ascendant is all about the physical body and your movements and like your appearance. And then Mars is um, that motivation and drive to do it and that stamina to go through it. And so begged Alex, basically I begged Alex to go to Egypt with me for our honeymoon. I was so excited. We booked a tour with Travel Talk Tours. Now, if you are an adult, I do not recommend ever, ever booking a trip with them. It was literally an atrocity. It was a horror of a, a trip. I, I don't even like to talk about it because it was so bad. Um, we booked a tour with them and it was like a bus tour through Cairo and Luxor and all the Egyptian temples and it was so cool. We went on a felucca sailboat and we lived on this felucca boat for three days on the Nile River. And then Alex and I went up to Dahab, Egypt, and we spent a month, six weeks there, living in a little beachside apartment Airbnb. And I went scuba diving every day and it was so, so cool. And I love Egypt. I love Egypt, Egyptian culture, the food, the people. It's wonderful. But there were some things that really got to me. I felt very angry a lot of the trip. It was just an energy I felt from the minute, the moment we got there, the moment our plane landed and we got into the airport, I was just like in the taxi. It was just like, it was it was so frustrating for me. And it's, it's kind of why I wore this outfit for this, uh, <laughs> this video because uh, Mars is the ruler of Scorpio and Scorpio energy, Scorpio rising energy, it's black. It's very Pluto and Mars energy. And um, I felt that the whole trip. Another thing that really was quite Mars in energy on this trip was um, on our Felucca ride, which I'll include a blog post with more details that I wrote right after that trip about the whole story. The trip we were on, the Felucca sailboat we were on, the whole tour was like 20 year old, 21 year old Aussies. If you guys know Australians, they party hard, especially the young kids that are just getting out of university or they're going into university and they're young and they wanna party and drink. It was a party nonstop. I would wake up at 6 a.m. and hear people throwing up in the Nile River right next to my face, like, bleh, like just right there. And I'd just be like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to wake up to this on my honeymoon. And you know, we would wake up in the morning, parked on the Nile River in the boat, and it was just all these like, all these young Aussie kids, they would put the music on, this loud song. I can't even remember what it's called. I'll include it here if I can find it. wake up in the morning with that song like blaring in our ears on the boat. They would stay up till like 4 a.m. loudly laughing and talking, very drunk on the boat so no one got any sleep. And of course, of course, being on a Mars line that I was, <laughs> I of course fought back and was like, dude, shut up, be quiet, people are trying to sleep, this whole boat's trying to sleep. I wanted to fight, like I wanted to fight people. I, if people were being disrespectful or, or not being kind, like I was not afraid to fight back and to be, um, obviously not physically, but like vocally, like I just, I could not handle how rude and um, just disrespectful people were to everyone on the boat. And so of course being on that Mars line, I wanted to pick battles more than I normally would. And it was a, a very unpleasant experience the whole trip. Like the whole Egyptian honeymoon was a feeling of anger, a feeling of not being happy, a feeling of frustration, a feeling of, discontent, not easy. Like even when we were in the pool, even when we were in the sea, even when we were kayaking, there was never a feeling of total peace and relaxation and calm. There were a couple moments on the trip when I would take Power of Now, of course by Eckhart Tolle, and I would go on the beach and sit on the beach and read Power of Now, and I just felt very connected with that energy. Or Alex and I would meditate on the beach at sunset. So there were some nice moments, but it was very rare. Most of the trip was being very active physically, 
Mars energy is very physically active. I, I like lost so much weight on that trip because I was so physically active with my body. And I just felt in general very motivated to write on my blog. I was feeling very motivated to take photos. I was always feeling very ambitious and motivated, but also frustrated and angry by the things that I saw around me. All in all to say, if you have a day chart, meaning your sun is above the top portion of your natal chart, don't go to a Mars line. Like really don't go to a Mars line, even more than if you're a night chart person and your most negative planet is Saturn. Um, I really recommend it. I personally will never go back to a Mars line ever. Um, uh, maybe I may go to a Mars MC line if I need to get a project done and I wanna be more productive, but I will never go to a Mars ascendant line for obvious reasons. I will never go to a Mars ascendant line where I went because that was painful. Mars I see has to do with the home and the family having really bad family relationships, like angry, resent, resentful family members and friends, community won't have that. And then um, Mars MC, I think I would do. But other than that, I would never go to a Mars line ever again. Personally, I also have my natal Mars in Aries, so of course that's just double whammy. For me, is that feeling of motivation, drive, and um, endurance, stamina, but also anger, frustration is like my default negative emotion, that um, confrontation and assertion to it taken to a negative degree. So of course, I also personally need to be more very focused on avoiding Mars lines at all costs. But now I know, now I know, went on the honeymoon, did that for two months, never again moving on. So that's my journey with Mars lines. I hope this was helpful. I, uh, I hope that learning more about Mars and the energy you may feel on that line is at all beneficial for you. If you'd like to do a reading with me, we, I would love to give you a one-on-one -on -one video consultation. If you're interested, we can go deeper into your specific natal chart and astrocartography map, and I can give you some more grounded guidance on that. But other than that, if you like this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. I thank you in advance. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'd be curious to hear what you think about all this. Uh, but yeah, have a great day, guys. I hope you have the most magical day, and I will see you uh, next week, next time, maybe earlier. Who knows? On the channel. <laughs> Bye, guys.